whole body is now feeling warm, relaxed, in tune with oneself and ready for a couple of moments of relaxation. German chamomile, oh, that's wonderful. sweet almond and peppermint. Introducing the hands, clearing the liver over and round. Locating the occiput line. So, Melissa, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for uh, having me. Pleasure. Um, we're having a lovely indulgent day of therapy, aren't we? Wonderful. Oh. So, I'm going to be giving you now an abdominal massage of the, of the stomach. And while I'm giving you a, a massage, I'll I've also put on your hands a lovely hand mask and a foot mask to really hydrate and nourish all of your hands and feet. And before we start, I'm going to do some kinesiology with you to work out which essential oils to treat you with for the massage. Okay. Is that That's okay? Wonderful. Lovely. Yeah. So if you'd like to come over to the essential oils. Okay, Melissa, so I'm just going to do some kinesiology muscle testing with you to see which essential oil. Now, bearing in mind, I've treated you a couple of times now, so I'm starting to get an idea of what your body needs, what it likes, which oils it's liked last time. So I'm just going to choose a few here, knowing that information. Thinking maybe a little bit of stress, anxiety, so some German chamomile, some rose, Roman chamomile, or rose geranium, ylang ylang definitely, cedarwood, or maybe some refreshing eucalyptus stegariana. Oh, orange, sweet orange might be nice. Raven Zara has got the same vibe as the eucalyptus stag. Oh, how many are we going to test here? This could be a lot. Oh, bergamot's always a winner. Sweet marjoram. Mmm. That's probably plenty for us to be going on with. I can always go to more. So, can you give me a little finger and thumb? I'm going to try and pull them apart. You're going to hold them together nice and firm and hold really strong. So that's good. That's our baseline. Can you hold an oil and just touch the bottle to you? I'm going to try and pull again and hold. Okay. We don't want that one. I was going to anchor you, but there's no need. So that was sweet orange and hold really strong so that was raven zara happens to be one of my favorite oils <laughs> and hold really strong okay that's good rose geranium and hold yeah another one aren't they obvious so yeah, far it's a big difference so that was steak ariana eucalyptus and hold no, I had a feeling that wasn't going to. So that's Roman chamomile. And hold. Strong. That's cedarwood atlas. Cedarwood. Do you? Yeah. Have you had it here before? No. Okay. And hold. Ah. German chamomile. So interestingly, oh. you didn't want Roman, but you're happy with German. And hold. Yeah, right. We've got a few now. Do I carry on? <laughs> and hold. Yeah, so we've got seven now. So that's rose and ylang ylang as well. Oh, I've just seen what that is. Ah, oh, okay. That looks so well, really a different one. So okay, well, the, the next three are all the same size bottle. So. Okay. And hold. Strong, that's bergamot. And hold. 
strong. I'm not going to tell you what it is. And hold. Oh, you got lots of strength. Oh, wow. So there was only two you, you didn't want today. Your body's quite receptive. We've got quite a choice here. Gosh, it's late. So we've got frankincense, marjoram, bergamot, ylang ylang, rose, German chamomile, cedarwood, stegoriana eucalyptus, raven zara, and rose geranium. So, what are we thinking? Have you got any preference? I'd love to try the cedarwood. Yeah. Okay, cedarwood. Um, Another couple? I mean, I also love, is it frankincense? What yeah. Is I love frankincense. Okay. Um, but the rest, I mean, they all sound lovely. So, so these are both base notes and okay. they are quite heady oils. They're absolutely beautiful and very good for sleep and relaxation. Frankincense also wonderful for breathing and respiratory, very calming, obviously used in churches historically. Mm because it's very good to rid bugs and clear infection. Uh, cedarwood also good for the breath and breathing because as you can imagine, I mean, they're both trees. You can imagine walking in a beautiful forest, breathing in deeply and it helps clear the lungs. So I think with these oils, we need something lighter, like either flowery or fruity, re refreshing. So I'm more thinking, of bergamot. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Is that okay with you? Of course. Are you familiar with bergamot? Not really. Do you want to smell it? I'd love to. Mm. Mm, that's nice. Mm. Yeah? Mm. Okay. So bergamot, I believe, is used in the islands in the Mediterranean, like Cyprus, and it's used in a uh, uh, like a sorbet or a sauce that you would have alongside a dessert and oh. um, a bergamot is like a cross between an orange and a lime. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, it smells lovely. Yeah, it is. It's, well, bergamot is really good for the skin. It's fantastic for psoriasis and dry skin, but it's also, as you can imagine from the scent, very uplifting and fruity and it's wonderful um, against depression and anxiety. It's a mm. real tonic, really helps lift. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> Thank you so much. My pleasure. So I'll just mix this now for you. So I've got quite a lot of organic sunflower oil there and I'm going to put four drops of lovely bergamot in there. And three drops of frankincense. Lovely. You can smell it already. And then cedarwood might be a bit slower to perform. This is slightly thicker oil. One, two. There we are. Lovely. So I'm just going to give that a mix and let you smell it on the inside of your arm. See if you like it there. Yeah. I can pick up the cedar wood smell. Yeah. Love it. That's really nice, isn't mm. it? Okay. So that, you can imagine that on the abdomen. Yeah. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. My pleasure. Okay, so first of all, Melissa, I'm just going to reveal a hand ready for giving you a lovely hand mask therapy.
smells lovely already. Okay, that's perfect. Spreading your fingers out. Is that cool? Okay, just leaving your hand there for a moment. And giving me the other hand, just revealing it under the towel. That's lovely. Perfect, spreading the fingers. Oop, that's it. Just going to massage a little the mask into the fingers, the knuckles, all the creases. Really nice into the top of the hand while also treating the palm and the wrist. Okay, leaving the hand here. And a little massage. Remove your socks. I'll put them on the radiator. And I'm going to apply these beautiful aromatic chaussette socks. for your left foot. <laughs> oh, that feels nice. Very hydrating. It has a little area where you can peel off the top of the sock ready to apply nail varnish. You so wanted. They're lovely. They smell beautiful. And they contain sweet almond and peppermint. A little massage around the heel. feet up to keep them warm. And 
are just revealing the abdomen. Moving your arms slightly just to go under the towel. Using the warmed sunflower oil with essential oils of bergamot, frankincense and cedarwood. Massaging sides of the abdomen up to the solar plexus and down to the lower abdomen. Just moving your arms slightly out of the way. That's beautiful, thank you. And now introducing my hands. Just tucking a little tissue around the towel. Introducing the hands coming down and down. feeling lovely and soft and receptive for a beautiful soothing abdominal massage. Starting with a little effleurage Smoothing action to envelop the whole abdomen. And then feeling what the, bo the body, the tummy is telling me, feeling for any areas of restriction or tightness. Encouraging beautiful breaths so that the breathing is lovely and relaxed and long. And scooping up the side. Bringing the fascia, the soft tissue, round from the back, the lumbar, to the front. And the same for the other side. Scooping and reassuring, always instilling softness and tranquility. And then coming down from the solar plexus, just reassuring and calming that lovely point within us which is connected to our contentedness, our inner self. The solar plexus is like our inner smile. And then massaging Overlapping hands softly down the descending colon, gently over the lower abdomen, and then strongly again up the ascending colon to the liver and across.
Mm, the abdomen is feeling so much better than it has done in previous times that I've treated it within the core therapy using the um, no food technique. So I'm now just using a little petrissage overlapping hands and fingers up as a star shape around each side of the umbilicus. So this area here is the iliosacral valve region and it's feeling so much better than it has done, so much softer and smoother. just going to feel into the spleen pancreas area. It's a little bit tight here, just instilling some softness, some reassurance, calming any tension and congestion. The same for the area of the liver, tucking underneath the edge of the rib. It can feel a little tender here, but just some deeper breaths and some beautiful, soft, reassuring massage will help instill some equilibrium back to the liver. Yeah, that's better already. That's good. And then back to the effleurage. Just going to get some more oil. And then circling with those fingers again, just tuning back in each time I revisit this technique. It will generally feel softer, more pliable, and easier feeling to the insides of all those beautiful organs. So alternating whole hand, 
firmly, slowly, but very soothing in the direction of the colon to encourage correct movement, elimination, and a feeling of lightness. And then giving the liver a little feeling of purging, clearing, clearing the liver, clearing any waste materials that it's hanging on to. The liver tends to store toxins like medication, alcohol, any drugs, just need to clear that away. There may be pollution. Oh, it's feeling much better. It's bouncing back. It's much softer. And this will have a beautiful effect also on the gallbladder. And stomach, spleen, Houston valve, heliosacral valve, and the wren. Hmm. feels really good there, like that needs to stay for a little while as it is a Chinese acupressure point. And then the kidneys. and the adrenals. And then out from the abdomen and back in. Again, smoothing effleurage to warm, treat and reassure. to the hands, just going to help remove the gloves, massage again, a beautiful hydration, taking in the last residues of the olive and star anise, beautiful oils and herbs hands will feel and look young and hydrated. Oh, amazing. 
just massaging that beautiful oil down into the wrist. Smells amazing. Beautiful effect of those herbs and oils. Hydrating, soothing, moisturizing the skin. Going through the skin into the blood circulation and helping muscles and ligaments, and tendons of the hand. So just massaging into the palm, around the top of the hand, down to the wrist, circling. And stretching. silky. They feel amazing. Beautifully hydrated. Silky soft and smooth. Massaging those beautiful oils back into the feet. Into the heels. They're lovely and soft those heels. instep and up to the big toe, a little mobilisation,
circling one ankle. Oh, a little kick. There we are, it's gone. Lovely. Just a little tug and then coming back for a flick. closed. Just gently take a few deeper breaths. And then gently take your energy down to those beautiful hands and feet and slowly introducing a little movement. Stretching out the fingers, palms, maybe circling into the wrists and ankles. Stretching out through those toes and soles. And then, when you feel like it, circling the shoulders a little in one direction and then the other. And then, if you feel like it, bringing the arms up over the head for a nice long body stretch. Oh, enjoying that delicious stretch. Oh, and opening the eyes when you're ready to. You okay? Yeah. That was lovely. Oh, absolute pleasure. Have you had a hand and foot mask before? I haven't. And well, I've had something similar on my hands, but never on my feet. Mm -hmm. They have really, really dry hands. So oh, so nice. Feel them now. Yeah, it's so soft. Yeah. So nice. Yeah. I think with the olive in the oil, it's made them look slightly yellowy, but that's only the olive of the oil. Because against my hands, they, um, they, they're looking a little yellow, but I think it's just the mask because it was on for a little while. Yeah, feels great. Uh, yeah, good. Mm -hmm. And your feet too. Your heels are so soft already. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you to get up in your own time. And then when you're ready, I'd like you to lie down on your front because I'm going to give you a back, neck and shoulders aromatherapy massage. Frankincense, cedarwood, and bergamot. So taking three nice long breaths. Using a beautiful knuckling technique. Overlapping hand up the sides of the spine. And a lovely long spinal stretch. Moving the other way. And the back of the neck, letting the neck go. Relax, 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 let it go. Stretching so that the whole neck area is relaxed. Okay, 
Okay, lovely Melissa, I'm now going to give you a beautiful back, neck and shoulder massage. Are you warm enough, sweetie? Yeah. yeah. Mm. So using the oils of frankincense, cedarwood and bergamot That are so good for any stresses and strains, for the breath, allowing the lungs to function to full capacity. Oh yes, the oil is going in really well. Beautiful. Around the hips. the waist, your beautiful angel wings and up and around the neck, so important for overall health and starting off with effleurage. So taking three nice long breaths. And now an effleurage, firmly, two hands including palms and finger weight up and around the neck, including the shoulder edges, down the sides of the back, meeting again, and round. Now each side of the spine. Oh, feeling a couple of little knots in there, which I'll come back to. And it's really important for the spine and therefore the neural system around it. The cerebral spinal fluid, the circulation, etc is all paid attention when treating the back because it's the spine that will govern the health of the torso. If there is any restriction, fixation or subluxation of the spine it will be felt in the workings of the torso, be it restricted breathing, be it an affected digestive system, or even into the reproductive and hormonal glands. And now coming up to the shoulders, using overlapping hand over and round. Over the shoulder points in a figure of eight pattern, up and round.
looking, detecting for any issues, restrictions. There's a little bit of tightness in the shoulders, right at the very top by the neck. And then tracing a line under each scapula for the angel wing. So it comes under, across, and over. Under, across, and over. And pushing that soft fascia up and over to push it forward so that we're bending the muscles stretching them, bending them, encouraging them to release and relax. And then separating the hands to work with thumbs in a petrissage movement in between the scapula, not on the spine, but just each side of it. with one hand while pushing the other hand down flatly over the scapula. A nice coordinated movement which brings relief, support and relaxation to the whole shoulder and neck area and this will help when I come to treat the shoulder and neck area once Melissa has turned over so that I can then work having already loosened and softened this area. Tracing a line of the edge of the scapula Just going to use the hand here and bending the elbow, that's it. Lovely. So that the scapula raises slightly as there is a tilt when we bring our hand behind our back. The scapula tilts, allowing for a little bit of space under and behind it, so that those toxins that sit there very happily normally can be agitated and moved. Coming back down. And working to the other side. the neck and shoulder again and pushing down the scapula using my thumb and thenar muscle to push over that flat plate of bone. Again, 
using fingers to locate and mark the edge. Now raising that arm again. under the shoulder in order to raise the scapula even more and then it's so easy to locate and trace the line. Always working with pressure upwards and over the shoulder. Edge and over, edge and over, beautiful, and coming back down, and then pushing any toxins that have been released to come up and over. Relaxing the arms. That's it, lovely. Up into the neck and lengthening the body. Beautiful long spine. And coming down, having done several effleurage movements, coming down to the lower back. First of all, with knuckles, using a beautiful knuckling technique on the flat plate of bone which is the sacrum around the edge and the sides of the hip any waste materials up to the waist area, down to the sides and back. Coming strongly up, separating, hooking down to the side on the couch and back. Using quite a lot of strength here. Now working on each side of the spine with thumbs, locating each vertebra and just applying a little strength each side with an out breath or two, encouraging longer, deeper breaths. This is such a tranquil massage to give, an aromatherapy back massage. It really helps us to come back to who we are. That essence, that joy, that is always residing within us. And when we have a therapy like a back massage with some peace and tranquility alongside 
just helps us to tune into that essence. Sometimes do this flowing action with fingers and sometimes with thumb pads. It all depends how much I can feel going on inside and the effect that I'm after. And there's a little bit of rosiness there which is good. I'm after some good blood flow. Going to apply a little bit more oil. of the body where there are located many lymph nodes and it's the lymph nodes that will take away any waste materials, old blood cells, skin cells etc. Cells that we no longer need that need to go into our elimination system. And then strongly up the spine again. And now for a lovely scissoring technique. Using the sides of my hands to scoop up and agitate any of that. fascia and tension but also definitely the lymph that needs moving, shifting it, agitating and then in a line of finger pads drawing it back down to those nodes. Beautiful. And a line of fingers out over the scapula to the armpit and again okay and a 
brush it up and around. This time including arms to give them some warmth and hydration. Especially into the backs of the arms, the elbows. Strongly up the spine, gently down the arms. sides of the spine and down the arms over the sacrum and a lovely long spinal stretch to finish the back massage I'm going to hold the towels, Melissa. If you want to take a couple of deep breaths before moving, just acclimatise back into the room. I'm holding the towels, and if you'd like to turn over onto your back, and then I'll sort the pillow area out. Just going to put these warm socks on you. stone pillow on your tummy. It's been warming. It's not too heavy. And then I'm going to put a warm sarong over your body. It feels a little chilly.
head to the side, spreading the oil of the frankincense, cedarwood and bergamot round the whole left shoulder, up to the neck, lengthening, stretching the neck right up to above the ear, and pushing the shoulder down, strong into the fascia of the trapezius, and then a little knuckling, Letting the neck go, relax, 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 let it go. And then picking the fascia up between thumb and fingers, palpating the soft area, bending that trapezius. Reassuring, letting it know it's okay, it can let go. And then using my thumb down the side of the neck and particularly tracing a line in the front, just on the edge of the throat, there is a line that's perfect to help clear without pressing on the throat and moving the other way. Around the shoulder point and up, pushing the shoulder down, coming round the shoulder into the trapezius and up. And then knuckling around deltoid round the back to the trapezius point and along it Pushing that lovely soft tissue down using flat knuckles without hurting but just applying and letting the muscle know it can let go. And then picking the muscle up between fingers and thumb, bending, pulling it one way. Nice and relaxed and long, beautiful fluid movement and then pushing it the other way down, stretching, lengthening, encouraging the breath and then up into the neck again tracing a line the side of the neck where there's a beautiful muscular line to locate and then using the length of my thumb to massage into that very strong muscle, the sternoclidomastoid. of your head, just let it go, beautiful. Then I'm going to locate the spine low down, applying pressure each side of the spine with long 
index and middle finger. Bringing that stretch up and then locating the occiput with a line of fingers and encouraging the head to drop back down into a neck release. And then a little stretch, lengthening. And now again, repeating the neck lift. Each side. Stretching locating the occiput line and then allowing the head to draw back and this encourages space below the occiput in between the cranium and the neck allowing better movement mobility but also allowing free-flowing cerebral spinal fluid, lymph, circulation and neural systems so that it can all work effectively and healthily. stretch and just securing the towel for some warmth Sweeping up from the shoulders, neck, face and scalp. Each time applying a slightly gentler pressure, coming all 
way back and off. with the deep breathing. Filling the abdomen with fresh oxygen. And then sending this beautiful new breath down to the toes, soles, the heels, and down to the fingers, palms, and then gently introducing a little movement to the feet and hands. And now, up into the wrists and ankles, breathing deeply, and then bringing your arms out sideways, and for a nice long body stretch over your head. You feel okay? Yeah, really, really relaxed. Thank you, that's wonderful. My pleasure. They were nice oils, weren't they? They were. The smell is so relaxing. Mm. Just really, really puts you into this deep state of like zen. It's really nice. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to leave the room to let you get ready here in your own space. And I really thank you for coming to see me. It's so lovely treating you. And I, absolute pleasure. And I look forward to the next time already. <laughs> collab together. Keep it over the back of the couch. That's good. No one else's. This is your time to relax and heal. I'm just introducing it to the neck. Protecting you with a nice hairband. Lovely, looking beautiful. Now we're introducing the clear slate, beautiful foaming exfoliator. Responds so well to a little TLC. Oh, it smells gorgeous. Lovely, just bend your elbow. Lavender, good for everything. Thank you for the chamomile frankincense. Apply the oil into your neck. Maybe into the back of the neck. Oh, lovely, a nice little stretch. 
seeing and feeling those cares and worries come away on the inside of the brow, which really helps relieve headaches. Go to the front, the finger behind, and massaging around. Let the sleep, the face, the neck and the scalp to move with me. Around the top of the ear, around the back of the ear. Same here. Holding, holding. This is actually a Melissa freshener. Just going to tap it over your neck, chin and face. And then over in little taps around the orbital bone. Hi Melissa. Hello. Hi. So thanks for coming today. Um, we're doing a cute little collab together. Okay Melissa, so we're going to give you a nice tropic skincare facial. I'm just going to take your hair away from underneath your shoulders. If you could raise your head for me. That's lovely. I'm just going to drape it over the back of the couch. That's good. Okay, so just relax, let your body sink into the couch. This is your time. You've come here for a lovely tropic skincare facial, but it's also your time to relax and forget your cares and worries. Let all of your muscles relax and lengthen. Give your whole weight into the couch. This is your time. No one else's. This is your time to relax and heal. Just turning the very top lip of the towel over and just scoring a line so you can feel where the towel comes to. Then making sure the hair is away and upwards so it's comfortable for you to lie on. Now I'm just going to get the first product to use. So this is Tropic Skin Care Smoothing Cleanser. I'm just introducing it to the neck, the chin, around the sides of the chin, to the cheeks. It smells lemony with beautiful essential oils of rosemary, and lemon across the forehead, the frontal bone, and around the orbital bones, encouraging the brow line, the eyes, and the nose to let go and relax. you with a nice hairband to keep your hair away and to keep your skin nicely held within the hairband. That's nice. Now 
little bit of smoothing cleanser around the eyes, over the delicate eye sockets, and with a little finger circling gently underneath each eye. Underneath. Smoothing that cleanser into the eyes, removing any residue, any makeup and debris, allowing any dirt to lift and be removed. Now into the lips, holding and gently applying smoothing cleanser to the bottom lip and the top lip. And just detecting a little of the skin that needs extra attention around the jawline, up into the jaw hinge here, the TMJ, and slightly up to the sphenoid bone. And these areas benefit greatly from the Tropic Skin Care for the balancing effect. cloth gently holding it over the face and pressing the heat the warmth and the damp cloth into all the areas of the face around the nose even gently gently into the eye sockets the eyebrows the center brow line into that lovely jawline and then up the neck always upwards residues but also the action and direction also help the flow for the blood, the lymph, the nerves and the skin itself. Lovely, looking beautiful. Introducing the Clear Slate Beautiful Foaming Exfoliator. Massaging into the jaw, the neck, very gently. This is a lovely 
gentle action smells divine has that gorgeous color of gentle slate but also a mineral clay exfoliator up between the eyes gently into the forehead and the frontal bone around the sides and into the zygomatic the cheekbones and up over the brow line the orbital bone and round and this will have a lovely exfoliating effect ready for a mask and a massage so that the skin can absorb to its maximum effect the beautiful nutrients applied during those treatments it's especially useful to massage under, over and around the jawline because this here is the area that can feel tense during the treatment as it is trying to let go, trying to release its grip Quite often we tend to clench, grind or hold our jaws and this area here, TMJ, is the temporomandibular joint and it responds so well to a little TLC. whether it keeps us awake at night or whether it changes the orientation of our neck as it is connected to the very top of the spine. And it can affect neck tension, headaches, even our teeth and gums. using New Horizons, a lovely facial mask, perfect for Melissa's skin. 
it has a gorgeous bluey shine to it. It might feel a little cool as I bring this lovely mask into the necessary areas. Oh, it smells gorgeous. It has that lovely treatment effect to it, where we know it's going to treat the skin. I think the word treatment is so well used here. It's not just a facial therapy, but it also feels like a treat to have it given. Along the jawline, into those cheeks. I'm applying it nice and thickly. Applying a little more to the right cheek. And then over onto the forehead. It's nice and cooling, anti-inflammatory. Smells gorgeous. So there are three Tropic Skincare mask options. New Horizons is one for balancing skin tone. And then we have Comfort Food, a green mask, which is for hydrating skin tone. And then we have Electric Bloom, a yellow mask for lifting and brightening, tightening the skin. So there are two masks that tighten on the skin, this being one of them. So this will set and then I will remove the mask with some hot cloths and it will leave the skin looking and feeling like it's had a food, like it's been given a beautiful meal, treated to some healing. So I'll be leaving that mask on the face for a few minutes, maybe if you use it yourself up to about 20 minutes, depending on how it feels on the face. Just while that mask is on, I'm just going to give Melissa a little Qigong to her neck and shoulders. Encouraging the body, the mind, the spirit to come together and relax. Soothing, softening, 
letting go. Entering a wonderful state of utter relaxation where the mind switches off, the body lets go, and we find ourselves. Connected to the essence of who we are. And at this moment, we are enlightened. We have that serene feeling like a deja vu of just knowing who we are and that all is well. All is well. All is well. waited for a few minutes for the mask to do its work. I'm now going to apply some hot cloths. Under the lower lip and out. Oh, revealing beautifully awakened skin. Skin that has been treated to a vegan, fresh and tropical product of the highest nature. Gently, 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 up the sides, a 
lovely colour mask as well. Beautiful tone to it. Gently at the tip of the nose. up the side of the face, over the top of the eyebrow, the brow line, to the frontal bone. This has a significance here as it removes the mask, the residue underneath, but also stresses and cares of the day. Letting them dissolve and fade away. Beautiful. Amazing. Such a good mask. Come back 
into the room and very gently open your eyes. So, I'm going to give you a face and scalp massage now with essential oils. So I'd like to test you with kinesiology muscle testing to see which essential oils your body wants today. So can you reveal a hand for me? Lovely, just bend your elbow, lovely. And can you put your little finger to your thumb? Lovely, I'm gonna try and pull them apart and you're gonna keep them together and hold. Okay, so it's quite strong. And I'm just going to place on your tummy here an essential oil at a time on your abdomen and hold. Okay, not that one. Same again and hold. Okay, that's better. And hold. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to get a couple more. Ready? Put them together and hold. Yeah. And again and hold. Nope. That's all right. It's good. Your body is very clear what it likes and doesn't like. <laughs> and hold. Ah. Oh. You like that one, so that's frankincense. <laughs> oh, is it? You mentioned frankincense yeah, earlier, actually. That's so cool. You can put your hand down now. So I've got a few to choose from. We've also got German chamomile, organic lavender, and rose. Things like yeah. So I've got four possibles. You certainly didn't want lemon, and you also didn't want uh, bergamot, so you didn't want either of the fruits, the citrus fruits. Yeah, I don't like the bergamot. Do you yeah. not? Interesting. So interesting. Really cool. So, um, I thought your skin might want lemon because it's very good at balancing, but Frankincense, from a completely different reason and chemical component, is also good for balancing. So frankincense is fantastic for all skin types and it's lovely for any stress and, and agitation. You know, that agitating the skin or the mind is really lovely. Uh, rose, beautiful, especially for calming hormones really lovely for the, the female hormones. Lavender, good for everything, um, including skin, stress, sleep. And chamomile is highly anti-inflammatory. And I've been using anti-inflammatory mask on you, so it'd be nice to carry that on maybe. Um, do you have a particular preference out of those four oils? Shall I repeat what they are? Thank you for the chamomile. Frankincense. Okay. Nice. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Come on, frankincense. This is a mix ready for your massage, and you can see that little blue droplet in there. That's one drop of essential oil, of German chamomile, and it contains azulene, which is a natural chemical 
which of course an azure sky is a beautiful blue so we associate German chamomile with being blue. It has quite a distinctive aroma and of course most carrier oils are like a yellowy colour so the blue mixed with the yellowy tends to go a little bit greeny even though that German chamomile is so blue but I wanted to show you that before I mixed it. <laughs> And I've also got a couple of drops of frankincense in there as well. Okay, so just coming round, going to apply the oil into your neck, your jaw, up into the face, the nose, the chin, the forehead, beautiful. So, massaging upwards, overlapping palms, gently, gently, one side, and then the other. Smells divine. So we've got the anti-inflammatory, calming effects of the chamomile with the de-stressing, skin harmonizing, anti-agitating effects of the frankincense. So I'm just making sure that all the skin on the face and neck, apart from the eye sockets, have been applied with beautiful oil. Now, repeating the lovely overlapping hand gesture to the throat and neck, coming round the sides of the neck as well. Maybe into the back of the neck. Oh, lovely, a nice little stretch. Back of the neck and up. index finger into the channel below the lower lip and pulling the toxins downwards over that chin and then massaging with the thumbs along that beautiful jawline up to the TMJ, the temporomandibular joint. Gently, gently round that corner up to the hinge, soothing the muscle that tends to tighten, encouraging it to release, release. I'm not applying much pressure here at all, very, very gently with two, three or four fingers. Often the more fingers applied, actually the more gentle is the pressure. And then coming to the area in between the upper lip and the nose. Quite often this area isn't treated enough. We don't pay it any attention. And this also contains muscles that need to be relieved, allowing the healing to take place that we don't encourage wrinkles and lines around this area, clearing it away. And now using all the fingers together in a beautiful heart shape to the point, round and round to the point. This is the heart of the face and like the heart, this is full of love. Imagining a beautiful rose quartz crystal colour pink around this area as it's warmed and massaged to bring healing and relaxation. And then using a little finger into the very sides of the nostril 
gently, gently up to the nose tip, gently each side, and continuing the line out. So now massaging from the center of the front bone of the forehead, two fingers symmetrically coming apart in beautiful widening rotating circles and away. Seeing and feeling those cares and worries come away Letting go, dispersing, melting that stress away. It is gone. It is gone. The chamomile and the frankincense infusing now through the skin. Having had a beautiful facial to remove dead skin cells and debris. This has allowed the skin to be in its best position to be able to absorb the lovely essential oils. And now, just using the index finger with gentle acupressure one step at a time from the centre coming outwards. This is a particularly nice point here, either side of the nostril. It's an acupressure point called large intestine 20. And it is so important that it is activated and relieved. So most facials will include that point from here outwards. And then a lovely rocking horse gesture using the palms to the forehead across the temples turning the hands either side of the lips bringing them down to the cheekbone and jaw down again rocking course to the jaw the chin soothing and reassuring This feels so nice to receive. It feels like the whole face is being cared for and looked after. Now coming up to the jaw, the chin tip, the beautiful acupressure point here to which I have one thumb, the other thumb on top and simply holding and tuning into this Key Energy Meridian. Giving it a little stimulation, just pulsing at this area. Now the other thumb coming above the upper lip and stimulating both at the same time. Moving slightly, then bringing a finger either side of the lips. Just an inch away, 
in the soft tissue before the thicker fascia of the cheeks, just this lovely indentation here that is a key acupressure point. And then using another finger just halfway up each side of the nose, each side of the nasal bone. I'm not applying much pressure here at all, just very gentle. I'm simply stimulating. It's like having a conversation with the meridians and the sinuses. And then traveling up to a lovely little indentation on the inside of the brow which really helps relieve headaches, relieve migraines. If you're pressing your own indentations here, then just apply very little pressure and use your intuition as to how much pressure to allow. You may simply want to touch without any pressure at all and see how that feels. See if you can witness colours behind your closed eyelids. And then gently, gently, the gentlest of pinches along the brow line, top and bottom, a couple of times. This helps soften the brow, remove frown lines, and take away worries. Let them go to the temples, very gently circular action, and hold. to the ears, massaging the top, the middle, the lower lobe, bringing the finger to the front, finger behind, and massaging around, pulling very gently backwards and upwards. This really helps the whole body because the whole ear is like an upside down fetus where the head is the lobe, the spine is at the back of the ear and the legs and feet tuck inside. So I'm actually massaging the whole body right now simply with the, this, this action. and the lovely area of delicate skin just behind the ear which hardly ever gets any attention up to the very top down to the neck and slowly removing the headband and now having washed my hands just introducing my hands to the scalp ready for de-stress scalp massage. First of all, applying my whole hands to as much of the scalp as possible. Going round the sides, the top, the back. Using my thumbs and fingers, but also mainly at this stage my palms and heels of the hands pushing down this is also a way of checking how much softness there is already within the scalp before i start what 
tells me a lot about what's going on with any stress and worries. What the sleep, the face, the neck and the scalp are like, whether there's tension there. Bringing my fingers underneath to the very top of the neck. To the very base of the cranium at the occiput. Coming round to the temporals with my index fingers. which are behind and in front of the ears and round the sides of the skull. So at this stage, my fingers are traveling over the skin and hair, but also they are gently encouraging the soft tissue of the head to move with me. That helps disperse any tension in a beautiful symmetrical effect, rotating around and back while my thumbs are on the top of the head, gently soothing the back behind the sagittal suture. Drawing them up and away, ready to introduce again, underneath, massaging with whole hands. And over and gently pulling without hurting the hair, the scalp, skin, gently encouraging with a gentle pull always upwards and encouraging the head to the side to pull like a combing effect upwards beautiful and the head draw to the other side nice and gentle Lovely. Now I'm going to use both thumbs overlapping in the center over the occipital meridian, coming down as far as possible, pushing, coming back to the center and simply following the same line with a few individual acupressure touches. Two lines, drawing a line as far as possible around the back of the head and then tracing the same line with individual thumbs, pressing and soothing these key places which helps us restore our balance, bringing harmony to body mind and soul. Now, finger pads to the temples, around the top of the ear, around the back of the ear.
smoothing down and away. Hands to the shoulders, around, under the neck. Holding, holding, holding. as much as possible and then letting go So having, having given you the smoothing cleanser, the clear slate exfoliator, the new horizons mask, and now I'm going to give you the beautiful morning mist toner. Melissa Hydrolat and Melissa, funnily enough, is very good for sleep, headaches and stress. So I'm going to introduce this to your face in another spritz. that's its other name. So lemon balm and melissa is an age-old remedy for insomnia, for feeling calm and for clearing migraines. beautiful fruit peel which is one of the Tropic Skincare serums. It smells sweet and fruity and it has the effect of resurfacing the skin. Perfect for brightening, lightening and tightening. Just applying it by dabbing over the face and neck. Now applying the Skin Feast Moisturiser, a beautiful lemony colour. Just going to tap it over your neck, chin and face. Gently. 
gently soothing over the chin and jaw, up the neck. to the upper lip, the nose, the forehead, Beautiful Super Greens Serum. Beautiful greeny colour again. Tapping it gently into the whole face and neck, especially over any redder areas, in order to discourage blemishes and pigmentation. It helps boost the skin with nutrients of kale and bro broccoli seed extract and also tamanu oil. So healing and calming. a little of the eye dream a lovely thick cream for eyes just spreading it between my little fingers and then over in little taps around the orbital bone massaging the cream under and away from the center of the face to the temples, around above the eyebrows, to the brow line, the center, and away. Gently, gently. And now to finish off, after the Tropic Skincare Facial, enjoying this wonderful feeling of harmony and balance in the body. Asking Melissa to tune into a beautiful white light. I'm now tuning into the chakra at the third eye. To each of the seven main chakras, like a blue silk foil. So taking a deep breath at the heart, deeply strong, instinct surrounding Melissa with white light of 
of protection. Getting myself seated, ready to give a beautiful Reiki and a visualisation so you can follow along at home. Asking Melissa to tune into a beautiful white light. And I'm smiling because I can feel the white light in the presence of the room and particularly around the crown of Melissa's head. And then softly touching the crown chakra, the Sahasra. And the white light is there to facilitate a Reiki healing treatment. I'm enjoying bringing some Reiki symbols into the energy surrounding Melissa so that the symbols will facilitate a healing to Melissa's highest good. The sensation is immediately palpable, tangible in the room. Melissa has instantly felt this energy and managed to relax deeply into the couch. The weight of our body when we are experiencing Reiki can feel very heavy. It can feel weightless at the same time where our bodies feel relaxed deep into the couch and yet at the same time we can feel light and airy like we are lifted a foot or so above the couch floating in a dreamlike state So having tuned into the Reiki white light, having brought the symbols into the start of the treatment, I am now tuning into the chakra at the third eye. This is the Ajna Chakra, which helps us relate to spirituality, mentality, our intellect, and above all, our knowledge. That state of being where we have a wonderful sense of knowing. We have a deep connection 
with ourself and our place in this world. A third eye is a way of seeing that which commonly cannot be seen. It's a way of having an extra sense where we have a feeling about many things in life and by tuning into our third eye it connects us with the key to opening this vision. I'm now placing some chosen crystals on key places along Melissa's body. The crystals relate to each of the seven main chakras along the torso. While choosing and then placing these crystals, I feel a great responsibility and privilege to be such a facilitator for this deep and profound energy work. I'm feeling here quite a depth of energy around the head and face. I have a sense that I will revisit that area later in the treatment, but for now I'm continuing with Reiki now to the throat chakra called the Vishuddhi chakra. Imagine a blue scarf gently touching the throat and neck. Imagine this scarf is not heavy, but light and transparent, like a blue silk foil. And then sensing there is a little congestion within the throat and neck. I employ some techniques 
to clear a stickiness and thickness within the area. Using Reiki symbols and psychic surgery, it instantly starts to clear and the blockage and waste material is placed down into the earth and sealed so that it can be recycled and used at another time when it comes back as a good material. My fingers are palping the air in order to clear a solidity that is surrounding now the energy around Melissa instead of the blockage within the throat. And this solidity in the air and the aura around the throat and neck can easily be cleared using these Reiki beautiful techniques. Now moving further along the body, this time to the heart chakra. A beautiful green energy, a large chakra called the Anahata, which shares love, passion and healing. So taking a deep breath at the heart, feeling green energy envelop and infuse through you. Taking a deep breath at the solar plexus in the upper abdomen, feeling golden light envelop and infuse through you. Experiencing the tingling sensation of energy around this part of the ribs and torso. The Svadhasthana Chakra, the orange light 
at the lower abdomen, which sends a beautiful whirling vortex of energy from the area below the belly button out and around the pelvis connecting with that part of us which wants to be creative adventurous it wants to make friends and it wants to make friends with our inner child fun laughter spontaneity are all part of this chakra at the hips Being aware of that orange glow, picture a basket of shiny oranges and bring that colour into and around your pelvis. If you frequently Tune into this sensation. You will open and relieve and bring harmony to all of the organs contained in the pelvis. Digestively, hormones and reproduction urinary and excretory, all of the organs will be helped with this orange meditation. And taking a deep breath at the hips. Feeling beautiful energy of a red colour descend down and surround the pelvis. Feeling reassurance and nurturing like a red warm scarf, hugging and surrounding the hips. This reassuring, strong powerful chakra of the red energy infuses and strengthens through the whole body. It is nice to connect with our red base chakra called the Muladhara chakra and as I'm doing here I'm picturing this strength the powerhouse of the body going down through the limbs arms legs hands and feet indeed the whole body feel the resonance of the Muladhara chakra 
with its deeply strong instinct to not only survive but also be the strongest that we can be. The connection between therapist and client during a treatment of this sort is incredibly deep and profound. It is only by experiencing a treatment of this nature that one can associate with the deep feelings felt during a Reiki treatment. Also, sensations in other parts of the body when one part is being treated. Often, those being treated experience a sensation of touch at another area, feeling like there may be more than one therapist in the room. I am often mindful of Reiki angels and Reiki guides that associate with the client I am working with and are present in the room, helping me and guiding me to the best possible outcome for their person. There may be also sensations of hot or cold, warm or cool, not just on the surface of the skin, but frequently within the body. And during a Reiki treatment, we are very aware of our bodies. We are aware of temperature. We are aware of touch. We are aware of presence. The wonderful feeling that we are all the culmination of hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands of years of ancestry. We are only here because of the survival and the strength of our ancestors. They found a way, they managed They had families and as a result we are all living and breathing offspring from these beautiful historical ancestors. I'm now returning to the higher chakras of the crown and 
third eye. The beautiful crystals are helping me tune into and work out exactly what each chakra is needing. The placement of my hands is key to feeling the energy requirements and feeding the energy in order to balance and harmonize the whole workings of the body, the homeostasis and particularly our aura. The aura is created by the chakras. There is a most beautiful amethyst touching the third eye at Melissa's forehead, which is resonating a deep energy directly through the crown, directly through the forehead, all the way deep inside to a deep area called the Jyoti Kendra. This helps us reach a somatic state, a state of deep relaxation akin to meditation. Melissa has reached a deep state almost asleep, yet conscious and aware of the beautiful healing Reiki vibrations, the throat at the Vishuddhi Chakra has required a little more psychic surgery a little more Reiki symbols and as I descend gently with compassion and respect down through each chakra once more I'm tuning into the energy of each one making sure It is balanced and ready to be softly closed. Coming back to the sacral chakra with the orange light. Moving the energy so that it is not stagnant but resonates and has a softness to it. And as I give Reiki symbols to each chakra, it fills me with joy and love. Often the energies come through me as well and I cannot help but smile. I feel an overwhelming health and balance and I am deeply appreciative and respectful of this shared energy. And now revisiting a couple of chakras that need a little extra assistance. 
and as I softly close each chakra, I leave each door slightly ajar so that each chakra is not closed to sensing what is going on around it, but that it is open, responsive, and able to detect others' feelings without being hurt. That is the reason for just gently closing each chakra's door without closing it firmly but just leaving the door slightly ajar. And now surrounding Melissa with white light of protection creating a beautiful bubble of energy. Thanking the Reiki guides and angels, thanking Melissa's presence and bringing myself back into the room. And keep your eyes closed and take a nice long breath. And send your breath all around your body, down to your fingers and toes. Feeling the breath balance out your energies. Sending a little movement to the fingers and the toes and then turning into wrists and ankles and if you feel you want to bringing your arms up over your head for a whole body stretch breathing deeply Remove the crystals. And opening your eyes when you're ready. You feel okay? Oh, lovely. Good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Very at peace. Yeah, you look it. <laughs> I enjoyed giving you some Reiki. And I just noticed a little bit at the throat area, which is very common okay. to have a little bit of congestion there, maybe, which can relate physically, as in there can be congestion at the throat, like a cough or oh, a sore okay. throat, or it can be psychologically, spiritually, for instance, um, like something stopping you talking or a blockage to expression. Okay. Okay. So we express ourselves by singing or writing or how we dress, what we say. So there's lots of different ways of expression, but these are all beautiful ways to facilitate and open the throat. And the throat is related to the experience of freedom. So when our throat is open, we feel free. So it's a nice feeling. So I just cleared it a little with some psychic surgery. Okay. And I've recycled it so it can be used again for good. 
Thank you. <laughs> okay, and so that will help clear any stickiness and blockage there. Thank you. All right. So you're okay to move when you're ready. Thank you. My pleasure. Well, thank you for coming. Um, really enjoyed treating you again and uh, maybe see you again yeah definitely okay thank you. <laughs> hi Melissa hi how are you you're back <laughs> And I'm looking forward to giving you this morning a guided relaxation. Feeling the abdominal muscles tense and pull in slightly to the forehead and brow line, to the eyes and nose. The whole body is now feeling the radiance of energy and golden sunlight. Nice long body stretch, breathing in deeply, hi Melissa, hi. hi, how are you, good thank you, you're back, <laughs> And it's a beautiful day. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to giving you this morning a guided relaxation. Oh, that sound okay? That sounds wonderful. I'm really excited to do this for you. And I'm hoping you'll find yourself like a really beautiful, centered, comfortable place to be. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds really, really good. Mm, lovely. So, Aww. so I'm going to cover you with a blanket if you'd like to lie down. I've got a pillow for your head. There we are. A nice fluffy blanket. <laughs> you look beautiful. <laughs> and I've got a cushion for myself while I give you a nice guided relaxation. So before you get too comfy, if you would like to have a nice full body stretch, so bringing your arms up, stretching your toes away, maybe turning your toes one way and then turning your toes the other, moving through your legs. If you want to bend your knees a little, feel welcome, maybe even hold your knees to you. That's it. Stretching the upper back and the lower back and then rocking on the sacrum from side to side. Lovely. When you feel like you've warmed, rocked and stretched your back, you can stretch out your feet. Lovely. Would you like your arms under or over the blanket? It's up to you. I think I'm I would, yes. I think the sun is breaking its way through to you as well. Lovely. Okay, so closing your eyes gently, I'd like you to take your attention down to both feet. And first of all, breathing in and tensing into both feet, so curling the toes curling the soles of the feet and maybe pushing the heels into the mat and the, the rug, pushing them down into the ground to have that lovely solidity and contact, that earthing. And now breathing out and relaxing both feet. And now breathing in again, awareness coming to both ankles, 
turning at the ankles, maybe turning the feet. Again, pushing maybe the back of the ankles into the floor. If you bring the toes up, stretching the soles of your feet. Lovely. And then breathing out to relax. And now breathing in once more and pushing the calves of both legs strongly into the mat. Pushing them down, maybe turning them in order to massage and have contact with all of the calf on the left and right side of both calves. That's it, just turning them, feeling that lovely solidity and then breathing out to let go. Breathing in once more and now feeling into the knees, maybe pushing the backs of the knees into the floor, maybe again rocking and turning at the knees side to side so you have more contact with the flesh into the floor. And then breathing out to let go. Breathing in again, this time awareness to both thighs, the front, sides and back of the thighs. Maybe pushing them into the floor, maybe activating them, really using those thigh muscles, the hamstrings and quadriceps, feeling them tense and breathing out to let go. Awareness now coming to the pelvic girdle, the whole hip area, the, the sacrum of the lower back and the coccyx, the iliacs of both hips and the front of the hips, pushing the hips down into the floor. Again, maybe moving them slightly, rocking and turning them, pushing them into the floor. Just a little movement and activating the glutes at the back, feeling the buttocks really tense and then breathing out to let go. Awareness now coming to the abdomen. The lower abdomen tensing as you breathe in feeling the abdominal muscles tense and pull in slightly. And even if you breathe out, you feel that tension still there, holding the lower abdomen nice and tight. And as you breathe out, letting go. Awareness to the lower back to the lumbar area and sides, to the waist and obliques. Feeling the lower back being pushed into the floor, maybe the small of the back at the waist. Feeling that lovely contact with earth and solidity. And letting go as you breathe out. Awareness now traveling to the upper abdomen, just around the lower ribs, above the navel. Feeling the ribs and the upper abdomen tense as you breathe in. Feeling the ribs expand with a huge breath. And breathing out to let go. Breathing in again, this time to the middle back, the thoracics, the ribs at the back, feeling the contact with the earth as you push the ribs into the ground. Maybe one side and then the other to feel that contact and make sure you're feeling that wonderful thing it is to be alive. 
and as you exhale, letting go. Awareness now to the chest, the lungs, the upper ribs and clavicle. Feeling the chest expand with a lovely long in-breath. Feeling the ribs separate with the expansion. And as you exhale, letting the upper chest go. Awareness now to the upper back, both scapula, your beautiful angel wings, to the upper spine and feeling across the top of the back at the shoulder blades, pushing one and then the other into the ground with a beautiful in-breath. And breathing out to let go. Awareness now travels all the way down to both hands. Fingertips feel electrified and vibrating with an amazing energy of life. Feeling the palms widen as you stretch the fingers. Stretching thumbs. Maybe playing the piano with your fingers, rotating at the wrists one way and then the other. Moving into hands, thumbs, fingers, palms. Breathing in with one last in-breath while you're here at the hands. And breathing out to let the hands go. Breathing in again, this time awareness traveling to the forearms. The lower arms, the front and back, up to the elbow. You feel them push into the ground, turning and pushing, feel, feeling that vibrancy of contact and energy as you turn the lower arms, pushing them into the ground. And then breathing out to let go. Breathing in, this time awareness to the upper arms, the biceps and triceps. Feeling the upper arms push into the floor with a little contact, feeling that lovely strength of that strong muscle of the bicep and tricep. And then breathing out to let them go. Awareness now to the neck and the throat. Feeling your beautiful neck at the back and the throat at the front. And all of the workings of this area in between. Breathing in to push the back of the neck into the cushion. Maybe turning the head one way and then the other on the pillow in order to push more of the neck into the pillow. And then breathing out to let go. Breathing in again, this time awareness to the back of the head, the sides and top of the head. The ears, pushing the back of the head into the soft cushion. Again, maybe turning the head in order to push more and have more contact with the scalp into the cushion. Raising the chin to push more of the top of the head into the cushion, lowering the chin 
and then gently breathing out to let the muscle action go. Breathing in again, awareness to the whole face, to the forehead and brow line, to the eyes, nose, to the cheeks, to the lips, the chin and jaw. Awareness also to the tongue, teeth and gums. Perhaps moving your face in order to activate it, raising your brow line, smiling, widening your cheekbones, maybe moving your chin, opening your mouth, turning your jaw one way and the other. Maybe widening your eyes without opening your eyes and then tightening your eyes and then letting all of the muscles go in the whole face and all of the mouth as you breathe out. Awareness now travelling once again down to the feet. Both feet feel this beautiful warmth of energy as if there is a fire burning, warming the soles of your feet. And that Awareness travels up through the feet and ankles to the lower legs and the shins. Feeling the warmth of that fire spreading up through the calves and shins. And as it travels, feeling this incredible movement of deep relaxation. Awareness and warmth now travelling through the knees, up the thighs, around and through them. Awareness and warmth Having travelled through the feet, ankles and shins, now come through the knees and all of the upper leg area. Both legs are now feeling fully relaxed. Awareness and warmth now travelling through the pelvic girdle the hips, lower back and front of the hips are now receiving the most beautiful warmth and relaxation. Awareness now travels through the whole abdomen. The stomach the sides of the waist and the lower back are now receiving the most beautiful, warm and deep relaxation. Awareness now travelling further past the solar plexus of the upper abdomen up the sternum, around the ribs, covering the chest and upper back. The whole area now fully relaxed and warm. Awareness now travels all the way down to both hands, the 
fingers, thumbs, palms, back of the hands and wrists are now feeling the presence of a deep, warm relaxation. Awareness now travelling further up the forearms, around and through them, up to the elbows. The forearms are now feeling the most beautiful relaxation. Awareness now travelling further to the upper arms of biceps and triceps. The warmth spreads from the lower arms through the elbows in and around the whole area of the upper arms. Awareness now across the shoulders to the deltoids, trapezius, to the clavicle, the whole upper shoulder area now feeling relaxed and warm. Awareness now to the neck to the throat, the neck and throat are now receiving the most beautiful warmth and tingling relaxation. Awareness now up to the back of the head, the top and sides of the head and to the ears, the scalp, the hair, every follicle are now feeling the presence of a deep and lasting warmth. Awareness now to the face, to the forehead and brow line, to the eyes and nose, to the cheeks and lips, to the chin and jaw, the whole face, including the mouth the gums, the teeth and the tongue are feeling warmed and fully relaxed. The whole body is now feeling warm, relaxed in tune with oneself and ready for a couple of moments of silent relaxation.
in this place of peace to tuning in to the affirmation I am strong I am capable I am at peace strong, I am capable, I am at peace, I am strong, I am capable, I am at peace. And in this place of stillness, enjoying the moments of contact with oneself, and if this is a good time to sleep, Allowing the body to let go and continue into a beautiful sleep. If this is a good time for a guided relaxation simply to bring stillness in the midst of a busy day, then this may be the time to tune into the fourth stage of a guided relaxation, where we consider, visualize that there is a beautiful sunrise rising over the horizon above the crown of our heads in the distance. And as that sun rises, we feel its rays cast a golden glow over the crown of our heads and our faces. And with this rising sun comes an amazing feeling of activation. Feeling like the muscles around the cranium, the face, neck, are infused with energy. And as the sun rises further, it continues its glow of golden energy down over the shoulders, over the chest and upper back, and continues further down the body. And as it moves, feeling every cell permeated and infused with a radiant, vibrant energy. The glow casts further down the upper arms and elbows, lower arms, wrists and hands. Every cell of the hands and arms now feeling like it's receiving golden energy of 
of activation and stimulation. The sun rises a little further, now casting its glow over the middle and lower back, over the hips, over the ribs, abdomen, down to the front of the hips. The whole torso now bathed in beautiful golden light. The sun rises further and we feel its glow over our thighs, through and around them down through the upper legs and comes with it stimulation and activation. The sun rises further now, casting its golden glow over the knees, the back of the knees, the lower legs, shins and calves. The legs are feeling now a radiance of brilliant energy. And then the sun rises to its full extent, now casting its glow over the ankles, feet, toes and soles. The feet and ankles now feeling that warmth and radiance of a golden sun. The whole body is now feeling the radiance of energy and golden sunlight. And with this radiance, Taking some more deeper breaths and just feeling into the body, maybe pushing the heel of the hands into the floor, the heels of the feet into the floor, feeling the contact with the earth, starting to feel grounded once more, coming back into this beautiful planet. And then maybe turning at the hands, keeping the eyes closed, turning at the heels of the feet and maybe turning the legs one way and the other, turning the arms one way and another, taking some deeper breaths. And when you feel like it, bringing your arms over your head for a nice long body stretch. Breathing in deeply. Slowly rolling the shoulders. Coming back into the day, into the room. And then bringing your hands together, rubbing your palms to create some nice heat and friction. Holding your palms over your face, just touching into the muscles of your face, into your brow line, your chin and jaw, maybe the neck and throat. And then slowly opening your eyes to the day. There's beautiful sunlight here, casting its glow directly on your face. And then when you're awake, are you okay? Do you enjoy that? Yes, lovely. Good. So you look very relaxed. Okay, so thank you for joining me. Thank you for coming. 
and spending the day with me and I've really enjoyed guiding you through a relaxation. Okay, my pleasure.